Привет, с вами Вилском. Достаточно много шума надела тот факт, что Apple в iPhone 7 решила отказаться от 3,5 мм разъема. Положили переходник, AirPods с Lightning в комплекте, но тем не менее народ переживает, как же так компания отказалась от 40-летнего разъема аналогового. Что же делать дальше? И вы знаете, я нашел интервью Стива Джобса 2010 года, где он рассказывает, почему в iPad нет флеш. Если эту тему интерполировать на сегодняшнюю ситуацию, получается достаточно забавно. Давайте же посмотрим это самое интервью. Or the best thing for consumers who buy, say, an iPad or an iPhone, to just be abrupt. In other words, if we're in a transition where there are better things than Flash, why be abrupt and cut off consumers? Sure. Well, two things. Number one, I'll come back in a minute to what really happened there, because what you said isn't exactly okay. logically correct. But Apple is a company that has doesn't have the most resources of everybody in the world. And um, the way we've succeeded is by choosing what horses to ride really carefully, technically. We try to look for these technical vectors that, that have a future and that are headed up. And you know, technology, different pieces of technology kind of go in cycles. They have their, their springs and summers and autumns and then they you know, go to the graveyard of technology. And so we try to pick things that are in their springs. And if you choose wisely, you can save yourself an enormous amount of work versus trying to do everything. And you can really put energy into making those new emerging technologies uh, be great on your platform, rather than just okay because you're spreading yourself too thin. So we have a history of doing that. As an example, uh, we went from the five-inch floppy disk to the three-and-a-half-inch floppy disk with the Mac. Before, before other people, right? We were the first to do that. We made right. the three-and-a-half-inch floppy disk popular. Um, Sony invented it, and we, we put it in, in the first products. Um, and there were some good reasons we did that. Uh, we got rid of the floppy disk altogether in uh, to 1998 with the first iMac. We also got rid of these things called serial and parallel ports, and we were the first to, to adopt USB, even though Intel had invented it. You first saw it in, in, in mass on iMacs. And so we have gotten rid of things. We were one of the first to get rid of optical drives with the MacBook Air, and, uh, I, and I think things are moving in that direction as well. And sometimes when we get rid of things like the floppy disk drive on the original iMac, people call us crazy. Um, Or at least premature, maybe. No, they call us crazy. Oh, okay. And, <laughs> and, and uh, uh, but sometimes you just have to pick the things that look like they're going to be the right horses to ride going forward. And, and Flash looks like a technology that had its day. Uh, but is really on, is waning. It's a, a flash site on the web. As far, I mean, it probably uses other technologies too, but it doesn't work on the iPad. Mm -hmm. What if people say, you know, the iPad is uh, uh, crippled in this respect? Well, you know, well, I'd say two things. Number one, things are packages of, of emphasis. Some things are emphasized in a product, some things are not done as well in a product, some things are chosen not to be done at all in a product. And so different people make different choices. And uh, if the market tells us we're making the wrong choices, we listen to the market. We're just, we're just people running this company. We're trying to make great products for people. And so we're, we have at least the courage of our convictions to say, we don't think this is part of what makes a great product. We're going to leave it out. Some people are going to not like that. They're going to call us names. It's not going to be in certain companies' vested interests that we do that, but we're going to take the heat because we want to make the best product in the world for customers. And we're going to instead focus our energy on these technologies, which we think are in their ascendancy and we think are going to be the right technologies for customers. And you know what? They're paying us to make those choices. That's what a lot of customers pay us to do, is to try to make the best products we can. And if we succeed, They'll buy them. And if we don't, they won't. And it'll all work itself out. Конечно, можно найти несколько уровней объяснения и сказать, что компания просто зарабатывает деньги, но, как мне кажется, это звучало убедительно и заставляет задуматься, что самое важное. А с вами был Лысаком. Подписывайтесь на канал, вступайте в мою группу ВКонтакте, подписывайтесь на мой твиттер и пользуйтесь беспроводными наушниками. Пока.